Welcome Leos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 22nd of November through to Sunday the 28th of November 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message card and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message card. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. So Leos, during the meditation and pre-shuffle of your your weekly reading um okay we've got this card wanting to turn out let's just put that there um uh you i got i received the message um your channeled message came through quite loud and clear second card wanted to turn out there um you're being guided to stay true and loyal to what is in your heart your spirit team are trying to um uh, show you some sort of truth, okay? Some sort of truth, um, wisdom. Um, many of you have that wisdom within you, but there's some sort of truth that you're not seeing. Um, you are a lot more abundant um, than you realize. And maybe that's what they're trying to show you um, because this is definitely a time for joy, all right? Um, uh, it's, it's a time to be grateful. Things are a, a very... I would say the Leos that I am picking up, you're content, you're happy, you are grateful. Um, but it's almost as if there's this one little thing uh, with regards to something that is um, really close to your heart. And it could be a passion, uh, a business venture. It could be the person that you love, OK, that you're connecting with. But you're being guided to be loyal to what it is your heart is really showing you. And it feels that like your spirit team are trying to give you the wisdom um, of what is in your heart. Whoever you are connecting with, uh, Leo, you have lived many, many lives with this person. And I feel that they see you as their wish fulfilled they definitely want to be around you they want to celebrate this connection um but you may have walked away okay um you may have walked away or they may have walked away um but i feel that they want to talk about that they do want to talk about that they may have been um fearful to talk about it um but i feel that they're going through a bit of a transformation okay coming towards you with a serious conversation um with nothing but love and it feels as if you're going to definitely be celebrating so your card uh that's coming up for you is joy all right joy a time of celebration and success so it almost feels as if whoever you're connecting with i mean you could be quite happy quite content in your world okay but there is something within your heart um that your spirit team are trying to show you with wisdom that something needs to be addressed um so if you walked away from this person or uh, they walked away from you um they want to talk about it they definitely want to celebrate this connection bring it to the forefront they may have been scared to bring it up but they are moving out of that energy definitely coming towards you with nothing but love. Let's have a look at your crowning messages. Oh, look at that frog spirit. So clear out the clutter. Absolutely. Um, it's almost as if, you know, you may be quite happy and content in, in, uh, where you are, at what point you are in your life, but clearing out that clutter, like I said, there's something that you're not seeing that your spirit team is saying, you need to clear this out, you need to um, clear the decks, you know, um, uh, clear out that clutter, there's something that is unresolved, okay, and I feel it's to do with either you walking away or them walking away, and oh, look at that panther spirit, reclaim your power. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel as if the joy that is coming, the abundance, you guys are very abundant, very happy with your life as it goes, um, as it is at the moment. But what is going on within your heart needs to be cleared out because there's something that you're not seeing that is going to bring you almost even more joy. It's going to be a time to celebrate um, the success of whatever it is your spirit team are trying to guide you to look within your heart 
take back your power okay if you walked away from this connection if they walked away from you i mean it hasn't been resolved and it's kind of like pricking your spirit it's like your spirit your heart is not settled um that's what needs to be cleared out take back your power all right so it feels as if um Whatever it needs, whatever needs to be cleared, whatever this person wants to talk to you about, it's got something to do with somebody walking away um, and it's time to, to deal with it now, all right? And I feel that for many of you, it's actually going to go quite well, all right? It's going to go quite well because it feels as if you're going to be celebrating. It's almost like the icing on the cake of your life as it is. And many of you this week may be really giving thanks really giving gratitude because the icing on the cake of clearing out this clutter taking back your power um correcting something perhaps that wasn't quite right um is that icing on the cake for the abundance that you already have all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you thank you and your final card oh look at that hummingbird of course be in the here and now yeah i feel with the hummingbird you're being guided definitely to listen to um what your spirit team are trying to illuminate you around your heart okay uh the green uh coming in here um uh, with flickers of blue um i i feel is some sort of conversation okay that i feel that they're whispering um that things can be even sweeter even more joyful okay but you need to see something with your third eye chakra with the violet coming in there that purple um and it feels as if your spirit team is saying for you to really truly be in the here and now and celebrate life celebrate the abundance that you have generally uh there's that little tiny something that needs to be cl cleared okay um in your heart space and it's something that you may be aware of leos okay um but you aren't aren't dealing with it basically and they're saying you need to be in the here and now because actually it's almost like it like i say it's going to be like that icing on the cake you're abundant already but by clearing out that little bit of something that's in your heart space um that your spirit team are trying to show you is going to bring you even more joy all right and, and with the hummingbird it almost feels as if it might be something maybe you walked away from this person in the past or they walked away from you you kind of need to take back your power it's like that needs to be addressed okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question how does these soulmates of leo sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love i feel like this card wanted to come out oh look at that cat independent wow you are a natural healer your intuition is strong you don't have to go with the crowd life supports you in every way absolutely so the leos that i am picking up you are very independent okay you are a very free spirit you are your own person you don't need to follow the crowd to have your happiness like i say you um you're quite happy um doing you being you being your free independent um self having your own thoughts not being influenced by others but um your intuition is um very very strong and your team are trying to show you some sort of wisdom that uh you need to clear out something within your heart space okay and really truly take back your power so leos in a nutshell right if you walked away from the person that you're thinking about at some point, I would say in the past, it's something that you need to clear up, all right? Whether or not you are with this person now or you've gone your separate way and you've, you're quite happy, quite content, there's unfinished business, basically, is what I'm getting here, 
all right? And that is something that you need to uh, clear out, all right? Uh, your intuition might already be telling you that you need to clear this out, uh, but whoever you're connecting to, if you walked away from them or they walked away from you, uh, they certainly want to talk about it, all right? Certainly want to talk about it. All right, Leos, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to uh, push this video out to other Leos. And of course, it does enable you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Leos, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. It's really, really appreciated. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week, week, weekly message. Yeah. Out of, I was going to say weekend, maybe for many of you, maybe because I'm doing it, at the, um, doing this reading at the weekend, maybe something is going to be triggered this weekend, um, but it's for your week ahead, I feel that you're being guided, whatever's triggered this weekend for you to declutter, basically, it's almost as if your intuition this weekend is going to tell you, you know what, life is good, I am grateful but this one little thing with the person um, that is the object of your affection, something needs to be cleared up. All right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 22nd of November through to Sunday the 28th of November 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Leo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above so below and all around me. Thank you. Leos, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for your weekly reading, if they uh, jump out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does... Whoop. Okay, so... So whoever you are connecting with, uh, with the four of earth, this person is thinking about you. Um, they, you are in their heart, you are in their mind. They don't want to let you go. Um, they may be uh, wanting to reclaim their power, um, to talk about something, either them walking away or you walking away, to be truly in the present. It feels as if this needs to be uh, cleared up between the two of you with the four of air i feel that this person was quite broken-hearted if you walked away or if they walked away they may have gone through a, a bit of healing with the four of air here uh there could have been words that were said that created um whatever it is that needs to be decluttered OK, um, but I feel that this person's been thinking about it for quite a lot, uh, for, for quite a long time. So do you remember in your channeled message, it was coming up that this person may have um, been quite fearful to talk about it, to clear the air, to declutter. OK, they're transforming because they've, they've, they've gone for a period of healing, really thinking they may have thought that they were going to lose you. Yeah. And I feel that they want to take back their power now and express, they want to talk about um, whatever it is that they were healing from that really, uh, I feel really broke their heart, all right? It's like to be truly in the here and now, to really celebrate this connection. Do you know something, Leos? It almost feels as if a reconciliation has happened, but there's still some unfinished stuff 
that needs to be uh, talked about. And it feels as if this person didn't want to rock the boat with you. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. The eight. This card wanted to come out. Um, and I feel that that came out there, all right, with the nine of fire. Because it did. It came out and I kind of ignored it. And I thought, mm, not sure. And then this card literally... Uh, turned over uh, either way with the nine of fire and the eight of five look at the synchronicities of the numbers uh there's a process okay there's a process that has gone on between you and this person with the nine of fire i feel as if this person definitely um definitely wants to talk okay okay um i feel as if they may have um they may have been quite guarded to speak about something that needs to be cleared up. And with the eight of fire, this is you almost intuitively knowing uh, that this communication uh, needs to be had. All right. So many of you, your intuition is already telling you, I feel, um, that a conversation needs to be had. But many of you may be um, just so grateful, maybe, that the two of you are back together, um, that you just don't, you yourself may not want to uh, rock the boat. All right. Um, but this is communication, um, divine spirits, universe coming in saying, you know, don't forget, follow your intuition. It's strong right now that a conversation between the two of you needs to be had. And I feel that this person has kind of had their back uh, to have this conversation, but they certainly want it. Because they were hurt. They were hurt by, it feels like you walked away. And it feels like a reconciliation has happened. And this is after the two of you are getting back together. There's stuff that they still want to talk about. All right. But they've held back. They've held back with the nine of fire. Not taking action. Notice their back is towards you. Not taking action to have that conversation. But for many of you, um, you may, like I say, you may be a healer, very intuitive. You know that a conversation needs to be had between you and uh, this person. And that is what is going to really, really um, uh, catapult you to being in the here and now and to really celebrate the abundance like I say the icing on the cake of an abundant connection that you have already that you are very very grateful for um, is something that needs to be cleared up and what's that wanting to come out there yeah look at that the seven of fire look at that that's not a coincidence seven eight nine I feel many of you with the seven of fire are going to take the action towards your person to have this conversation because you want to fight. You want to fight for um, this connection because like I say, Leos, for many of you, you're very happy and content with the direction in which your life is going. OK, but the icing on the cake to really be in the here and now is to reclaim your power, reclaim the abundance of this connection, because this person obviously um, was hurt over. I feel it was you that walked away. It could be them that walked away, but you're being guided. I feel many of you want to fight for this connection taking a lot of a lot of action a lot of action a lot of passion it's almost like you want to do right by this person and you're going to do that you're going to come to this conclusion very independently all right because you are very intuitive very connected with divine spirit universe it almost feels as if you know leo if someone had to turn around and say to you do you know what you need to reach out to your person you need to clear up some shit OK, if they walked away or you walked away, uh, it was never spoken about. All right. Or it may have been touched upon, but never really gone deep. All right. Um, it cre it's created some clutter between the two of you. And it almost feels as if with your independence, your 
intuition which i feel that your spirit team are trying to show you okay like your channeled message uh said they're trying to show you some wisdom that to really be in the here and now to really reclaim your power okay over something that your heart space is is itching is 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 pricking you to to declutter to clear out you're going to take that action it's like you're going to initiate the conversation that you i feel intuitively know that this person wants to have but they are being quite guarded they're not they're not letting you know that they want to talk about what happened poor communication um a separation um they may have thought that they lost you but they went through healing real deep healing heartbroken yeah it's like for you to really really be abundant like i say that icing on the cake is that little bit of something that you need to declutter let's get some clarifiers mike thank you wow you look at that yeah the wheel of fortune so with the wheel of fortune i feel as if divine intervention um kicked in maybe during um the two, when the two of you uh, separated or when one walked away from the other, okay, it feels as if this person thought that they had lost you. They were thinking about you all the time, yeah. Uh, they may also need to reclaim their power, but I feel with the Wheel of Fortune coming in here, uh, whatever discussions that evidently need to be happening, both communicating, they want communication, you want communication, but both of you are almost avoiding like the elephant in the room, Leos. Uh, I feel that um, as the two of you talk, uh, the wheel of fortune is going to turn in their favour. So it feels as if they need to call, almost reclaim their power back as well. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. And they're just showing me we've got Taurus, um, Leo, your energy coming up, Aquarius and Scorpio. So you could be dealing with any of those elements um, in your chart or their chart. OK, obviously, Leo, it's your reading. So um, but it feels as if the uh, Wheel of Fortune is definitely turning in this person's favour. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. This person loves you, though, and it's almost out of that love that they don't want to discuss what broke their heart about you walking away or them walking away. Yeah, look, with the Knight of uh, the King of Pentacles, I feel that this is their energy. You could be married to this person or um, they uh, you see them as marriage material or uh, they are ready for marriage, ready to settle down. They are uh, holding back. They're holding back um, what they what needs to be spoken about. Yeah, holding back that um, almost suppressing, fully committing to you because there's an element of fear that you may just up and go again, or um, they may feel the need to up and go themselves. But they are suppressing, they're suppressing coming towards you with a solid commitment. Really thinking about it. They may have given away their power. If this person offered something solid with you, or if you're married to this person and there was some sort of debacle that happened, um, it almost feels as if... Um, them thinking about you can't get in you can't get you out of their head out of uh their heart not wanting to let you go being very very fearful okay it's like the conversation that needs to be had they're hesitant to have it because they don't want you to up and go 
or um, and this is the power that they've got to take back. It almost feels as if they gave too much power to you walking away or them walking away. Yeah, look at that justice. Yeah, this person wants reconciliation, but like I say, it feels as if the reconciliation has already happened. But like I say, there's um there's uncluttered stuff, there's unspoken stuff that this person is still thinking about. Okay, it still breaks their heart to this day. At Leo's, it genuinely feels as if you walked away from this person, but it's like. They know it feels that there is a soul contract with you. They feel bound to you. They feel as if you're the, like they're supposed to live their life with you. And honestly, if you are married, well, the justice and the king of pentacles, even though it's in reverse, would signify that, that this is a marriage, a, a, a marriage. But for many of you, it could be long term commitment. Seeing this person as marriage material, them seeing you as marriage material, knowing that they have a soul contract with you. You also could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. But like I say, uh, they are still thinking, um, still hurt over conversations, a breakup. Yeah, look, the three of cups. This person wants nothing more but to celebrate okay celebrate this connection um because they have a lot of love for you they kind of like want to get to know you all over again all right um but they can't it's like they can't move forward because there's unfinished conversations that need to be had all right but they definitely uh want to celebrate this connection they want to be in this abundance this joy because if you guys have reconciled it's like you may have look at that they want a new beginning um it's like you may have reconciled like physically like you're back together or something like that or um the two of you are like you know nobody would say that the two of you aren't talking or you know would look at the two of you and think well there isn't any disagreement there isn't any angst there going on um it's as if your souls haven't reconciled because if you walked away or they walked away um they gave away their power to you or you gave away um your power to them and it's unsettling your souls it wouldn't surprise me if this is a bit of a twin flame or ultimate soulmate because i'm finding it really difficult to differentiate who walked and yeah but i would say the two of you are back together and they're celebrating that but there's something that's still hurting them basically they want this new beginning they do want to talk but notice their back is towards you it's like they don't want to upset the apple cart by bringing it up again basically many of you with your intuition you know that work needs to be put in here you know it feels as if intuitively you know that this person is still hurting over them walking away or you walking away there's more work that needs to be done. And that's why I feel that that conversation needs to be had. And look at that with the death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. You have the power to transform this situation by initiating the talks. Um, letting this person know that you know uh, a lot of work, a lot of energy has gone into this connection. You know, both of you have planted many seeds. Um, it feels like both of you have nurtured this connection. But look, one of you got away or you felt that they got away or th you're picking up that they felt you had got away. And you may be waiting for the right opportunity to have this conversation. When you do, it will be transformational for both of you. There's more work, Leo, that needs to be done. It almost feels as if your spirit team are saying, look, the two of you are kind of like 
reconciled there's peace between the two of you you're talking or you're back together but um the joy the abundance um it almost feels as if you're being guided don't let the joy and abundance draw you into a false sense of security because this person is still hurting and they want to talk about it and i feel that you're being guided to look deep within uh your spirit team are trying to give you that piece of wisdom and when it does click in you're definitely going to fight for this person yeah look at that i can't even flipping make this up look at what comes out the eight of cups you walked away you walked away and i feel that this week you're going to see that you need to fight to let this person know that you're not going to walk away again and that is what's going to transform them to put in the work to talk wow i cannot <coughs> cannot make up that i cannot make this reading up I really can't. Your channeled message was very, very clear. Somebody walked away. And look, they're just clarifying and letting us know it was you. And when you, and many of you are together, you, you guys are fine now. You're very happy, very abundant. You're very, very grateful that that is behind you, all right? But to really, really be in the here and now, you have to reclaim, reclaim your abundance, reclaim your power, reclaim the power of this connection. And that is what's going to be the real icing on the cake. That is where the real abundance is going to come in because this person is still hurting. Thank you. Look at that. The queen of wands cannot make it up. You've not taken any action yet. The Queen of Wands in reverse, you've not taken any action. So for many, many of you, the penny hasn't dropped that this person is still hurt and still healing over you walking away. As soon as that penny drops, bam, you're going to take that action and fight for this connection and initiate that much needed conversation to transform the situation between you and this person. You're going to realise more work needs to be done more nurturing um yeah more nurturing needs to be done to really be in the here and now yeah and many of you um may not even need me to tell you this because your 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 spirit your intuition is pricking you that you know what there's something in your heart space that you need to clear up with this person and as you do, I feel this week, it brings that extra layer of joy, success, celebrating. They will be celebrating with you. Almost both of you now being on that same page. I did say you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Leo, uh, Libra. Or you could have Scorpio and, and, and Libra in your chart. And then look at that. Wow, look at that message. Your advice, lady of the lost, give to others, treasure life and all its magic. Oh, do you know something, Leo? I can't express to you uh, the significance of lady of the lost. This person felt as if they had lost you. You may have felt that you had lost this person when you walked away. But like I said, I pick I pick up that the two of you are back together. There is peace between the two of you, but there is something that still needs to be cleared up, balanced out. So you're being guided to give to this person. And as if just like magic, the abundance that you have with this person as you're back together is is amplified it's tenfold it's that icing on the cake they then look at that there's three people here 
there's three people here. It almost feels as if they want to join you in the abundance that you feel for this connection. And do you know something? There may have been um, a third party situation. And when I say I don't necessarily, I'm not picking up a romantic third party. It could have been a third party of um, uh, uh, I'm getting spiritual growth, uh, fear, anxiety. Something on the emotive side is what interfered with the connection that possibly um, led you to walk away from this person. And in a way, that's what makes the hurt even deeper. Because it was like, maybe you guys were going through in a spiritual awakening. And this person felt left, look, they felt left behind. And it feels as if they thought they had lost you. And we see that here. Here and here. They thought they lost you. So to really get on the same page as the abundance and the joy. That you are grateful for getting back together with this person. They want to be on that same page with you. But there's a discussion that needs to be had. And for many of you it feels as if it's a process. It may be a process of a number of discussions, but you are definitely going to fight for this as you realise this person is still hurting. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. And then we have the thimble witch. There is magic in beginnings, so start something new. Look, they want a new beginning. You're be, being guided to really be in the here and now and to really have that new beginning that you think everything is cool, everything's fine, you're abundant, you're happy, quite content. As you go a bit deeper, you will realise that this person isn't quite there yet. And so the magic of giving to this person, engaging in conversations, it almost feels as if, Leo's, it almost feels as if you're being guided to um, put them first, basically. Put them first. And as you do, that's when the true beginning starts. Like I said, that's where you truly become um, in the here and now. All right. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. It's like with the thimble witch. It's like you're patching something up. You know, something is pricking you in your heart. Um, and you're not, you're not seeing it or you're feeling it, but not really understanding. Because the two of you are quite happy, quite content on the surface. You're being guided to go deeper because you're the healer. You're the leader. And the storyteller, look at that. Stories are medicine, strengthening and renewing. This is all about renewing, all about really being honest with something that needs to be decluttered around your heart to really be in the here and now. But not just you, Leos, your person as well. You have the power to write a different story. Your conversations, you giving to this person, uh, you really appreciating that this person is still healing, still going through some heartache over you walking away and being a bit fearful to talk about it. Coming out of that fear, suppressing, really committing because they're fearful that you'll walk away again. As you take the time, you become the medicine. You become the medicine to really rewrite this story. Hence, reclaiming your power, reclaiming your relationship back. Not just on the physical, but on the spiritual. Because this is what this person is. Their soul is unsettled. And so is yours, but you may not be... You're just so grateful that you're not seeing the wisdom that your spirit team are trying to, 
to show you. I don't know why I'm shuffling again. Maybe I need to. Because I, yeah, obviously I did. Oh, look at that. Seed spells. Look at this. I can't make this up. Create your story. It is the most potent form of magic. What was I just saying? So just in case you guys didn't get what I was saying, that you are the storyteller, you are the creator and manifester of the story that you uh, write with this person. We come up with Seed Speller, okay? Create the story that you want with this person. Be that light, be that healer, be that medicine to nurture and give to this person now to get them on the same level of joy and abundance and gratefulness of the two of you reconciling, coming together, being at peace with one another. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. All right, Leos, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, until next time, Leos, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.